Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I want to share 5 most essential plugins that every website should have. Well, when you install a WordPress website, the first thing that comes to your mind is what are the plugins that I really need? Well, the answer depends on the kind of website and the functionality that you're trying to achieve. So if you want to display ads on your website, there's a plugin called Ad Inserter. So you can use that and you can use that to insert ads from Google AdSense or other sources. So you can simply go to plugins, click on add new and search for ad inserter. It's this one right here. Uh, it's also recommended by Google to put AdSense ads on your website. So if your website is funded by AdSense, you can use this plugin, install it and put code in this plugin and manage ads accordingly. And if you want to insert a code into your header, sometimes you may have to insert a code into your header to verify your Google account and all that stuff so in order to do that you can use google site kit or you can use wp beginners insert headers and footers plugin what i'm really saying is that the plugin that you really need to install depends on your needs with that being said there there are five most essential plugins that you should install to basically have a smooth running website let's get into those five plugins well the first category of plugin that you really need to have on your website is a backup plugin there are a lot of options so there's a updraft plus there's back wp up there's even wp vivid migrate and backup it does backup restore and even migrate your wordpress website there's also there are also few plugins that do backup as one of their tasks such as all-in-one migration so if anything goes wrong maybe a plugin conflict maybe a theme conflict or maybe your website gets hacked backup is your last line of defense and undoubtedly the first plugin that you need to install on your website is a backup plugin such as updraft plus wp vivid or even wp back wp up so for example i have updraft plus installed on my site and here you can configure how many backups you want per day you can also schedule your backups when you want it on a weekly basis monthly basis and you can also choose where you want to save your backups. Well, this is just one of the many options that these plugins provide. Don't worry, the full tutorials on each of these plugins that I mentioned in this video will be released step by step. But in this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of all the plugins and all the things that you can do. So as you can see, you can store your website as a backup file in various locations. And with Updraft Plus Premium WP Vivid Pro, you can send your website backup to multiple locations. So either way, install a backup plugin before you do anything else on your website. That brings us to the second category of most essential plugins on your site, which is security plugin. By default, WordPress is a secure platform, but it's also very popular. So its popularity means that a lot of people try to exploit loopholes in WordPress and they try to hack websites. So in order to prevent this without worrying much about it, the second most essential plugin that you need to have on your website is a security plugin or a firewall plugin. What this essentially does is that it scans your website traffic. It makes sure that all the security measures are taken. And in addition to downloading and installing a security plugin, you also have to make sure that your WordPress, your themes and your plugins are up to date from time to time. This makes sure that all the loopholes are fixed in the latest versions of the software. So the most popular choices in security plugins. Also, you can type your keyword here. You can click on plugins, click on add new can type your keyword to filter plugins in that category so i just want i'm looking for a security plugin so you can simply type your search term and it will give you all the security plugins i personally use wordfins free version on most of my websites and with few other techniques you can keep your website safe and secure in addition to wordfins even security security plugin is also really helpful and the premium version includes firewall included in that it filters traffic before it even reaches your website so it stands between between you and all the attacks on your website you can also use iTheme security and here's an overview of wordfence security plugin when you first install wordfence it will give you a few options to enable auto update and configure a few things so that you can have the best WordPress security and under customization here you can 
use different options you can use you can change the firewall options you can change the mode you can disable it altogether if you don't want that filtering you can also allow or disallow few ips so that ip address will always be allowed no matter what so in case you're working in a network and you want all the machines to have a seamless access to your website you can use those IP addresses and it also prevents brute force so you can specify how many login attempts the user can make at max and after that he'll be locked out and he won't be allowed to try again and you can set all those over here and this is WordFence security plugin similarly you have same or similar kind of options with other security plugins such as Sokuri and iTheme security so use either of them and make sure that you also don't have any nulled themes or plugins because they have deceptive code that runs even without your notice so once you actually upload a nulled plugin or a theme to your website you, the chances are high that it's running a weird script that will possibly hack your website in addition to that you also don't need security plugin when you're developing wordpress locally because when you're developing WordPress locally, only you'll have access to that particular website. You can put it on your live server or when you actually create a hosting account and start your website or migrate your website there. That's when you actually need a security plugin. But on your local site, if you do it using Flywheel or MAMP, you don't really need a security plugin. But make sure that you have a security plugin up and running on your live site. That brings us to the next most essential plugin for any WordPress website, which is performance plugin or caching plugin. Well, what exactly is a caching plugin? There are various levels of cache. So there's server level cache, there's browser level cache. And in order to make your website run smoothly, some content within your website can be stored on the browser or on the server as static files and they can be served to the users. So if you have the same page, let's say if your users are visiting the same home page, all the assets such as CSS, JavaScript, all those can be saved at server level and they can be served as static files to the other user when he visits your website. What this essentially does is that it will make your site load faster. So for the first user, it may take maybe around three seconds and for the second user, it might take just two seconds. So there are a lot of caching plugins. This is the most popular one, W3 Total Cache. Then there's WP Fastest Cache. And there's one more, which is my personal favorite. It's WP Optimize. Or this is the plugin by the same team behind Updraft Plus. Those are the same devs. And you can see that it's nearing almost 1 million installs. So you can comfortably use this. And I think this is by far the easiest to configure and easiest to use. And there's one more thing to note. You don't even need caching plugins on your local servers or when you're developing or designing websites locally, whether by using Flywheel, MAMP or any other tool, you don't really need these plugins. These need to be installed and activated on live servers to speed up your websites. And there's one more problem associated with caching plugins. If you don't configure it properly, it might break your site. Your website might look really weird. All the HTML, CSS styling might be gone. So be careful while using this plugin. Don't worry, the performance guide, the security guide, all those will have their own videos on the channel. But in this video, I just want to give you a brief overview of the plugins. So this is the one of the most essential plugins to speed up your website. And that brings us to the next plugin, which is essential for your website and that's SEO. SEO stands for search engine optimization. When you search something or when you Google something, essentially you get a couple of results, right? So let's say latest Mac apps. I get few results right here and I see a snippet. I see the title and all this can be done. Well, SEO is so huge that just a plugin cannot do it, but it can help you do most of the things that you do that you need to do in a correct way. Yoast SEO is one of the most popular one, but the latest and the greatest plugin is Rank Math. Even SEO framework works great. You can use either of them. All four of them work great and once you configure they'll have all the options to get your rank properly in Google and other search engines. We'll get to SEO there will be separate tutorials in depth tutorials on SEO but this is again one of the most common or most essential plugins that you need on your site. In addition to just installing your plugins by searching and installing and activating from WordPress repository you can click on add new you can also upload your plugins in zip format the same is with themes. Once you click on activate, 
all the paid plugins will ask you to activate by using the key so you just need to enter your license key that you got from the vendor and that way all the plugins can be activated there are a lot of plugins but i think in this list rank math is my personal favorite because it has all the yoast premium features built into its free version speaking of performance or seo none of them can be achieved by just using plugins for performance you also need to have good hosting and at times you also need cdn optional cdn cdn is content delivery network so with help of cdn a proper optimization and a proper configuration of the caching plugin you might get good results for your page load speed but it's all relative and speaking of performance and optimization there's one optimization which is actually missing from the plugins on the wordpress repository and that's image compression images play a huge role in website loading speed and you have to make sure that all the images which are uploaded to your site are either hosted on cdn so it doesn't put or consume your bandwidth or you have to make sure that all images are relatively small so that it has a good balance between quality and also size and how do you trim images well you can do that by using wordpress plugin such as smush so you can use compression plugins such as smush even this one works great and then there's a plugin a paid plugin called short pixel you can also use that even that works really great or if you don't want to have an additional plugin just to compress your images you can also use tools like image optim so on mac you have this nifty tool you can simply drag in an image into this and it will compress it as much as it can and you can take the output or the compressed image and then upload it to your website to reduce that size of the image if you upload images without compression or if you don't compress the images after you upload them well your site is going to load infinitely slow so use a good image compression software this is the fifth most essential plugin so make sure that you have all these plugins you can install one per category and make sure that you're all set up for learning cool things videos on each and every plugin will be on this channel so check out wordpress tutorial for beginners playlist that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it i'll talk to you in the next one peace